Today, the region of the Americas celebrates World AIDS Day, a day when we take stock of the achievements of the past year, but also of the challenges that lie ahead. This year's theme of Equalize serves as a call to action to address the inequalities that are holding back progress in ending AIDS. There are only eight years left before the 2030 goal of ending AIDS as a global health threat. As the most unequal region in the world, vulnerable populations like people living with HIV were heavily impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic, experiencing severe disruptions of the continuity of care cascade, of prevention, access to treatment and follow-up, as health services became overburdened and supply chains were disrupted. The Americas is, however, a region with mostly mature and experienced national HIV programs, and these are bouncing back to tackle the inequities that affect vulnerable populations. I would like to recognize and to sincerely thank those who have worked continuously on HIV, especially community health workers, who have shown such determination and perseverance to overcome the challenges posed by inequities. Their essential role was clearly shown during the acute phases of this global health crisis. An area that continues to be affected by inequality and is slowing our progress to eliminate AIDS is the access to quality services and tools, particularly for testing, prevention, and treatment. This is unacceptable as there are powerful tools and approaches at our disposal to make AIDS a public health problem of the past. The availability and affordability of many of these tools for countries is possible through the Strategic Fund for the Pan American Organization. These are rapid self-tests for real-time HIV diagnosis, drugs to prevent an HIV infection in people at risk, and effective and easy to take medications for those already living with HIV. Regrettably, these tools are still failing to reach the most affected populations and their access remains unequal. To change this and, and the cost of the HIV pandemic, we need an integrated response extended to all communities at risk. We must address stigma and discrimination to broaden access so that those who are HIV negative today remain negative and those living with HIV improve their quality of life. The COVID-19 pandemic has shown us that we cannot be complacent in the work of preventing AIDS. We must also continue to ensure the incorporation of innovations and universal access to HIV tools to prevent and treat HIV. The end of AIDS and many other infectious diseases can only be achieved if we tackle the barriers to access and affordability to services and tools for those who need it the most. Today, I call on everyone to address inequity as a broader health and development issue for our future and the future of healthier generations. Thank you.